Indigenous members of the United Church of Canada from across the country traveled to Rama First Nation for the National Indigenous Spiritual Gathering in August 2019. We came to honour the long history of Indigenous peoples' membership in the United Church and to take the next step in our journey towards self-determination. After the restructuring mandated at General Council 42, our 64 communities of faith in British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario and Quebec said that we needed to determine what our structures would be and how they would work. We crafted a vision of a self-determining Indigenous Church within the United Church of Canada. This vision is rooted in Indigenous knowledge and spirituality and framed by the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. At the spiritual gathering, we discuss what that vision will really mean in our communities of faith and what we hope for in our relationships within the United Church. These people here, these families, are still waiting for a place to worship. We are going to be heard and we're going to have some say in what happens in our United Church of Canada. May God bless you all. The Spiritual Gathering established a new national Indigenous organization, a new council to lead it, and an elders council for ongoing guidance. This new structure will carry forward the legacy of the All Native Circle Conference, which has been the home of most United Church Indigenous communities of faith for the past 30 years. As we look toward the future, we honour all that has come before by passing the ANCC bundle on to the new Elders Council. We will also be led by new voices as two members of the Indigenous Ministries and Justice Youth and Young Adult Program were elected to council. The elders can learn from the youth. The youth can learn a lot from the elders. The youth delegates enrich the gathering with their presence and expertise. Cultural and land-based activities were an integral part of the program. So was their presence and role in decision making. They challenged us and helped envision a church that they want to be a part of calling for the creation of a National Indigenous Youth Council. We are young, but we're tired of waiting. We need to get it done now. We are moving forward knowing that there is still much work ahead. We have planted for the future. Now is a time for nurture and growth. As long as the Indigenous Church is feeling incomplete or uh, whatever word you use as part of the United Church of Canada, and the United Church of Canada isn't quite whole. This is the voice that we've been asking for. And because we're only at first light, it's the body of work that's going to come later. The spiritual gathering was not just about the structure of the church. It was also a church gathering with many meaningful moments in ceremony and worship. Every morning began with a sunrise ceremony at the sacred fire. Students from the Sandy Soto Spiritual Center led worship to begin each day. It was also a time of community as we gathered together to share stories, songs and teachings. We also held our silent auction to raise funds for the Mission and Service Fund. This year, we raised almost $2,500. This is a tradition we are eager to share with the wider church. Why not try one of these in your region or community? Indigenous communities of faith and the National Indigenous Spiritual Gathering are supported by the Mission and Service Fund. 